Damn, my kitchen's never looked cleaner, dude. You're welcome. You're a compulsive cleaner. No. You be a professional dishwasher, man. I actually was. It's was <laughs> my favorite job ever. Really? Yeah. Hi, got Jackson. any got any words of wisdom for the vlog? No. As you leave? No. <sighs> All right. Have a great time. Love and, you, uh, brother. Gonna rip out there. Oh my. Jesus. <laughs> He always goes out with a bang. That dude is so crazy, but I love him so much. Hanging with Adam and not having class yesterday, I totally feel like it's the weekend, but it's Thursday and I'm going to class. Catching up on editing right now because I'm a bit behind. Entertaining a good friend from out of town makes editing vlogs quite difficult. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Eating Trader Joe's low-fat granola with like four bananas, a bunch of dates, and almond milk. I just had a workout. So good. I want to talk with you about podcasts. As hopefully you know, I have a podcast called The Plantriotic Podcast. I put out an episode every single Monday, but in addition to making and uploading podcasts, I'm a podcast fanatic myself. Today alone, I've listened to three different podcasts. I never just kind of sit down and make it my activity. I do it when I'm, you know, riding my bike across campus. I do it when I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning my house, stuff like that. I just fit it in to the empty space where I can procrastinate throughout the day. And surprisingly, even though I do so many things and have like so many duties and tasks to do right now in my life, I listen to sometimes hours of podcasts a day. So I wanted to just go through the five podcasts. While there's more that I listen to, I want to talk about five that I've sort of written down here that are all so different and unique, but provide really important special things into my life right now, and I want to share them with you. So this is not in any specific order, but the first one I'm going to talk about is the Thought for Food podcast. Um, if you listen to my podcast, you've heard these guys have been on it each twice, actually. And the reason I'm going to encourage you to listen to their podcast, because you'd think, oh, is it kind of similar to mine, talking about vegan topics? It is so different. These guys are like scientists and in the medical community, and the amount of like easy to digest and understand facts that they provide me about different nutritional topics that I like to talk about but haven't really done the research myself, they provide me with that and it helps so much. Specifically, they came out with an episode like all you need to know about protein as a vegan and just protein in general and it was, and you can quote me on this, the most informative, just like concise uh, piece, whether it's a podcast video about protein that I've ever heard. you got to go listen to it. Go check out Thought for Food on the website um, or their, uh, on their iTunes page. And by the way, I'll have all the links below. The next one is very different, and it is a podcast called... This background is so boring. And this is a podcast called, and close your ears if you don't like profanity or are young or a little sensitive about that, it's called the Guys We Fucked podcast. Why do I listen to this, you may be asking, and there's a specific reason. A few months ago, it shot up on the iTunes rankings, and I like to sort of keep up with what are the hottest podcasts, just because I'm a podcaster and I want to respond to what people like. So I started listening to it, and for one, these two women that are the hosts are professional comedians, so it's a very easy to listen to podcast because it's just hilarious, you know, if you're not easily offended. There's a lot of graphic imagery around sexual activity and some like really intense conversations about like sexuality and struggles that people have had. And I sort of got hooked on it because they're super entertaining and funny and it's just a weird thing to listen to. They are so open about sex and sexuality and gender identity. They, they call their podcast an anti-slut shaming podcast and I think that's really important because even just as a male that grew up, who I think I'm a very sensitive and mindful person, I still even find myself using some words or language or even interacting with people where I probably could be more sensitive around, um, you know, just being 
I guess not slut shaming is really the only way to say it. The one bad thing about this podcast I have to say, and I actually sent them an email about it and they did not get back to me. A blatant fallacy in their lifestyles and what they talk about is that they talk about eating animal products and meat all the time from like pizza to milkshakes and they eat a lot of junk food. And I sent them an email explaining how animal agriculture basically runs off of the exploitation of female sex organs. That's what it is. It's how you get eggs, it's how you get milk. You take female animals, you enslave them, you artificially inseminate them, and you take away their babies. And that's why there's a ton of literature out there and blogs and whatever talking about feminist vegan activists. And they completely have no idea that's not in their consciousness at all. So I sent them an email. They didn't get back to me. Hopefully they will eventually. Okay, the next podcast is also, I think, on the top 10, maybe top 20 on iTunes. It's so brilliant. It's called Stuff You Should Know. It's these two funny guys who live, I think, in Atlanta, Georgia, who pick a topic for that episode, and they clearly do probably like a week's worth of research, and then they do an episode just breaking down, explaining a certain topic. Here are some examples. They have how El Nino works, how freak shows worked, how nitrous oxide worked, how jackhammers work. What's the deal with poop? Really informative, you learn a lot. It's very educational, but they also have sort of a comedic friendly relationship and it's super entertaining. Next on my list is a pretty new podcast called Divine Throughline. It is actually Ritual's wife, Julie Pyatt. It's her new podcast. I obviously listen to Ritual podcasts still all the time as well, but I didn't want to put that on the official list because everybody probably listening to this already knows that one. And Julie, I love their relationship. I'm you know friends with both of them and they're so similar, but but also so different at the same time. Julie is a deeply spiritual being who has put in a lot of work to sort of cultivate that energy inside herself and in her life. And she has a lot of profound explanations and stories um, and lessons that you can learn about developing a spiritual practice and the benefits of meditation and just living as a spiritual being, living a human experience instead of the other way around. What's really cool about her podcast is she incorporates music, um, talking about spiritual topics and then she also has episodes that guide you through a meditation or some sort of energy working calming experience that can be really useful to people who don't know how to practically do it. Chicken, you're eating the paint off of the wall. And the last podcast I'm going to mention, I think we need another stage change. Hi chickens, I'll give you apples in a second. The final podcast I'm going to mention is Democracy Now! podcast. It's Monday through Friday, every single day. It is your one-stop shop to learning about everything relevant in the news and actual news. I'm not talking CNN, I'm not talking Fox News, these completely corporate-funded BS news sites that, are, that, have, that have an agenda behind them are probably being paid by some political organization. This is a truthful, democratic, authentic news source. I trust them 100%. Kip and Keegan have been on their show talking about cowspiracy. They talk about climate change a lot and also a lot of politics, especially right now with elections and uh, debates and stuff like that. I have found that a lot of my peers and actually a lot of people in the vegan movement are very apolitical when it comes to issues that don't exactly have a connection with food or animal rights or nutrition. And I think that is a problem because right now we're in a, a time in our world specifically and in our country where there's a lot of crazy political stuff going on. You have Bernie Bernie Sanders trying to start a political revolution towards the left, and then you have people like Donald Trump that are equally trying to start a revolution, but of racism and conservatism and, you know, bringing back, like, the Confederate flag and crazy racist terrible things. Podcasts. Good stuff. Don't fight. My day is not exactly over. I'm going to teach yoga right now, then I'm coming back and just working at my house until I go to bed. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you here. So much love, dream extreme, and namaste. <laughs>